be talking about the shampoo and conditioner bars that I got that are plastic free. They come wrapped in paper. This shampoo bar I got from Whole Foods and it has saponified olive oil, coconut oil, castor oil, rice bran oil, palm kernel oil, mango butter, virgin coconut oil, vitamin E, aloe vera, almond oil, no fragrance added, GMO free. The brand is J.R. Liggett's, and again, it's at Whole Foods. I couldn't find any conditioner at Whole Foods, although the ingredients on this sound like it's going to leave my hair pretty soft as it is, so I'm interested almost to try that without the conditioner first. Secondly, I got a conditioner off of an Etsy store called Indigo Moon Apothecary. This has... BTMS, which is modified rapeseed oil, organic mango butter, argan oil, organic coconut oil, D-panthenol, and vitamin E. I am going to show you what my hair looks like right now. Hopefully my camera will pick it up. Um, I tried to make it super greasy for you guys. You can see it's kind of disgusting like everything's clumping together I wanted to make it look like be really gross so you could kind of see how well these work I also couldn't wash my hair with something while I was waiting to get these in the mail because they would have been using plastic Okay, so you can kind of see my hair is greasy, my ends are dry, I don't know if you can tell, my ends are dry on camera, but they are. Here goes. Just kidding, I'm in a bathing suit. And there's water splashing all over my bathroom. But I'm going to do a shampoo review for you. So this is the shampoo bar. And you just kind of put it in your hair. Just like you would on your body with the soap bar. I need more water. I just got it everywhere. Now my eyes going to be shut the whole video. lather just like shampoo in a bottle I'm kind of impressed with that so I decided to use just the shampoo bar today because the ingredients sounded like they would moisturize my hair like mango butter and oils so I thought I'll just give this a shot I mean they didn't carry a conditioner to go with it so I'm like maybe it's one of those two-in-ones which I never like even in the plastic bottled brands, but we'll see what just the shampoo bar looks like. Um, it didn't feel good after rinsing it out, but we'll see what happens when it's dry. My hair's dry now, and I'm just gonna try to show you. It's not greasy, so whatever that sticky feeling was, is gone. It feels and looks pretty healthy. It's just a little bit frizzier and drier than usual. Um, but again, I didn't use the conditioner bar. I just tried the shampoo bar by itself. So it actually didn't do that bad of a job. I mean, it's clean and my hair feels soft. It's just a little bit too dry. Now I'm gonna do the conditioner bar which is the one I'm a little bit more suspicious about because like conditioner doesn't really lather. So this, I mean, the most important part about conditioner is if it gets your knots out, right? But like you really have to get this thing wet to get anything to come off of it. I don't really know how to use it. I also forgot to brush my hair, which I usually do before my shower, or else I have a puddle of hair in my shower.
Nope. I'm not a fan yet. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. So what do I do? I'm like... Doesn't seem right. This feels so unnatural. Not a liquidy product I just squeeze into my hand. It's actually... Can let my fingers do my hair a little better now. Again, I usually brush my hair before shower, so that I not. Sh I think it would be like this with a regular conditioner. It is feeling like that silky kind of, but it's taking a lot more water and a lot longer. The shampoo kind of made my hair feel sticky on top too, which is not what it usually feels like. Look, I can run my fingers through my So we'll see when my hair dries what this looks like. So my hair is dry and it doesn't feel too much different than it did when I just used the shampoo bar. It is still like shiny, silky, soft at the top and a little bit drier towards the ends. A little bit frizzy but overall decent it's not greasy um I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm doing it right I mean I don't know how else to wash my hair with a bar of soap looking thing but um yeah it's not my favorite I don't think to conclude it's not my favorite but it's not horrible either. I think I need to wash my hair with it several more times before I can really make a educated opinion. But um, I definitely can already see that it has some pros and cons. The pros of shampoo and conditioner bars is no plastic probably easy to travel with. They're a lot smaller than a bottle of shampoo or conditioner. You just have to put them in like a little wrapper or something. Cons, there's definitely a learning curve because it's pretty weird to wash your hair with a bar of soap. And it might not be the best product, but again, this is only one brand of shampoo and one brand of conditioner bar. And I'm also new to this. I'm not sure if I did it right, so. Got pros cons there you have it I'm gonna keep using it just until it's gone whether my plastic challenge is over or not I want to see what happens with my hair if I just keep using this and um, maybe in the future I'll have another video um, to let you know if over the long run it's still a viable replacement for shampoo and conditioner but yeah I mean my hair looks pretty good still I can't complain, it's just a little bit too dry, so I'm not sure if it's drying or not, or if it's just a coincidence. I'll have to try it some more to find out. If you've been enjoying my videos, please share with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too. See you later! Once a week posts are probably the best for me and my schedule. I'm getting ready to go to Italy in a month here, so I have a lot of things going on in my life. and. I've tried posting once a week, I've tried posting twice a week, I've tried posting three times a week, which really that was just a treat for you guys because I had my back fall out and then I had a crappy video and didn't get to post what I really wanted to share with you guys. So from now on, Thursday nights, 8 p.m., that's my post time. Stay tuned for next week's video on Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Those are going to be when my videos release from now on and I hope you are enjoying them. Look 
all the hair that I'm losing. Look at Al. <laughs>